Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Today I'm going to show you how we can fix the text stream issue that is unable to connect to VIM. And this is going to be a very interesting video. I'm using Windows 11. I can show you. You can see over here. I'm using Windows 11. And I have not installed any software till now. And neither I have plugged in the MVCI cable. So everything is not connected or anything is not connected right now. It's just my laptop. The first thing that we need to do is to go to file CR and from here we can search for text stream. Once we are going to search for this, you can see over here it is Toyota text stream version 18 and it is 254 MB. You should click over here. You should click onto the direct download. And once it will be there, you can click on to download it. I'll show you. And then you need to cross this and see. It's the same file you can download twice, so no. And it's going to download. So let's skip this part. I have already downloaded this and this is the file. Now I need to click onto the right click and show more options. I'm extracting this into a separate folder. Extract here. And the password is one, two, three, and click OK. So this is the extracted file. We need to click onto the setup, run as administrator, and click yes. It will take about three to four minutes to install. Okay, so finished. Now we need to copy this file, right click, and this is the copy, copy, and we need to see the text stream, right click, and open file location. This is the installation directory, in program files 86, Toyota diagnostic text stream and bin, and over here we need to paste the file that we have copied. Once we are going to paste it, here it is, and now when we double click this, it will not require us any key, we can select the area, next, next, and we need to configure this once, you can enter your details, <coughs> okay, and your text stream is fully functional, so it is 100% functional, it will not give you an error of any key or anything like that. Now if we click onto the setup, we can search for the VIM which is vehicle interface module, and you will see that in my computer, there is MVCI shown and text stream is shown. So because I'm going to use the X-Force MVCI, so I'll tell you how you can see this. So for this, we need to close this. We need to close the software. And now, what we have to do? We have to have this MVCI driver. I will share the link of this. Uh, I will upload it because uh, this is from a CD drive. So first thing is you should double click this and click yes. And this will enter these files into the registry. You should click yes and click OK. Now it is in my registry. Now I can connect the USB mini VCI, the Xsource J2534 cable. And I can show you that when you click over here, open devices, you will see that it will be automatically installed. Trust me, you don't have to install any software. Windows 11 will you know, install everything on its own. Once you see this, this is installed, you should click close. And now you need to right click this and try to install this. And as I get this error, you can see it says that it ended prematurely. So no problem. We can right click, show more options, use a software called 7-zip. You can install it separately and extract files into the same folder. Okay, like this and click OK. So now you can see we have all of these files. We need to click Ctrl A to select all the files and Ctrl C. To copy all the files from here and now C please, I should go to the C drive, program files x86 and I should create a folder called as xsource, it was not here before but I have created this folder xsource electronics, then you should create another folder which is called as mvci and you should paste all the files like I am doing, see I am doing it in front of you and says you want to replace all the files, yeah I want to replace all the files, do this for all contents and everything will be replaced. This is one location, then 
you need to open the Toyota text stream, like Toyota Diagnostics, text stream, and over here, BIN, and you should also paste all the files over here. See, I have pasted all the files over here. Now, again we will come back to Xsource Electronics, this, and there is a file called as MVCI32. So, we will right click, copy it, go back to the same program files, Toyota Diagnostics, text stream, bin, and again we need to paste the file over here also. I say okay. I pasted it. Lastly, you should go to the C and you should paste the same file over here also. And click continue. After doing these things, you have to check whether your software is now accepting the X source or not. If it does not show this, you have to repeat the process and restart your laptop or computer. Now you can click onto the setup and click onto VIM select and from here you can click X source. Please see that this driver location is program files X. This is the folder that we have created X horse electronics. In that we had this MVCI driver for Toyota TIS. This is again a, uh, a, drive, uh, a folder that we have created and then you can see this and click OK. And now you, when you click connect to the VIM, it will try to connect to the cable and in the cable you are going to see them some lights blinking. If the lights are blinking it means that your VIM or vehicle interface module is working. Now please see that it is trying to connect to the vehicle. And as soon as, because I'm, I'm right now not connecting it to the ECU, so as soon as you are going to connect it to the ECU, it will start loading your, your ECU's uh, details and everything. Of course, you can select the model if you want. For me, like it was Corolla, so I can select the model. It will take some time. It, it's a bit slow software. So once it is there, like you need, you need to connect it to the ECU and then you can select the model and engine type and everything and it's going to work very well. Now, this is working 100% for me and I hope that it's going to work for you all also. If you have any questions or comments, uh, you can ask me and I hope you like this video. If you like this video, you can, you know, you can select to share or you can like or subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.